Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Problem number 47, uh, chapter 23, Gauss law. I'll just read out the problem. An unknown charge sits on a uh, solid sphere, conducting solid sphere. This is important. This is a conducting solid sphere of radius 10 centimeters. If the electric field 15 centimeters from the center of the sphere has a magnitude 3 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per coulomb and is directed radially inward, that also important, is direct, directed radially inward, what is the net charge on the sphere? Okay, what is the net charge on the sphere? So, uh, we have already discussed it in problem number 45. Okay, so I'll give the link uh, in the description. <coughs> problem number 45, we know uh, the behavior of a uniformly charged spherical shell. We also discussed there that uh, if we have a conducting solid sphere, then uh, since charges are free to move in a conductor, these charges because of mutual repulsions will all go to the surface. So they get distributed uniformly on the surface. From spherical symmetry, we can say they get uniformly distributed on the, uh, on the surface. So uh, its behavior, even though it's a conducting solid sphere, but its behavior will be same as that of a conducting shell because all the charge resides on the surface because of the mutual repulsions. In case it were a non-conducting sphere, then uh, even though charges would repel each other, they will be stuck at their places because they are not free to move. Okay, But this is a conductor, so charges are free to move. So they all go to the surface because of the mutual repulsions. Now, we are given a point. Uh, uh, we are given a point at a distance of 15 centimeters, point P suppose, at a distance little r equal to 15 centimeters. Now, that is greater than 10 centimeters which is the radius of this sphere, meaning that point P is lying outside this sphere. Okay, so this lying outside the sphere. And from uh, problem 45, we already know that for points lying outside the sphere, it behaves like a point charge located at its center. Okay, it behaves like a point charge located at the center. And feel outside, feel outside is given by gamma Q, modulus of Q I'm writing, divided by R square. Okay, same as that of a point charge. Okay, same as that of a point charge. Now, uh, question also tells us that this field is radially inward. Okay, radially inward. That means this is a negatively charged sphere. If it were radially outward, then it would be positively charged one. Okay, it is radially inward, so it is negatively. That's why I have shown negative charge on the surface. So, one thing we already know that this charge Q is negative. Okay, that, that minus sign will include at the end. Uh, for now, we'll just deal with the magnitude of uh, uh, this cube. Now, uh, from here, we had find out this Q. Q is equal to R square goes upstairs. I'll simply write E, E R square divided by gamma. So, this implies modulus of Q is equal E. Now, E at a distance of 15 centimeters is given to us 3.0 into 10 to the power 3. So, 3.0 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per coulomb. So, it's already an SI system at a distance of 15 centimeters. So, that is 15 centimeters. So, we have to convert it to meters 10 to the power minus 2 with this square there divided by gamma electrostatic constant is 9 into 10 to the power 9 in SI system. So, this implies Q is equal this is what we have to work out i have already done that it comes out to be 7.5 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb this is magnitude of the <coughs> magnitude of the charge on the surface of this sphere now we already know that this charge is negatively charged so if we write this charge along with that sign with sign Q is equal to minus 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. Okay. Minus 7.5 into 10 to the power minus 9 coulomb. That's what we are asked to find out in this problem. 